Hello everyone, welcome to Amasapti webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to create a device-based conditional access policy with Intune. With Microsoft Intune device compliance policies, conditional access policies can use a device's status to either grant or deny access to our organization's apps and services. We can use the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center to configure our device-based conditional access policies. The policies we create can specify the apps or services we want to protect, the conditions under which the apps or services can be accessed, and the users the policy applies to. Using conditional access policies in Intune we can ensure our devices are compliant before accessing our cloud services. There is a checkbox feature to grant access only for compliant devices. This way, we can create a conditional access policy to protect our services and allow access only to devices marked as compliant. To take advantage of device compliance status, Configure conditional access policies to require device to be marked as compliant. This option is set while configuring grant access during the conditional access policy creation. First, sign in to Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center as a global administrator. We can access Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL HTTPS endpoint.microsoft.com On home page, click on Devices. Click on All Devices. Uh, let me click on Refresh. We can see the not compliant status for our test device named Lab Win 10 CLI01. We will test our conditional access policy using this Windows 10 device. Let me click on the device name. Under monitor, I'm going to click on device compliance. You can see I have created one test policy for Windows 10 device compliance. We can see we have test compliance policy with error state. Let me click on it. TPM module is not available on our Windows 10 device. That's why this Windows 10 device is not compliant. Click on Endpoint Security. Under Manage, click on Conditional Access. We will be on Policies page. Click on New Policy Plus icon to create a new conditional access policy. Type a meaningful name for the conditional access policy. We will give name Taste Conditional Access Policy with Intune. Under Assignments, select Users or Workload Identities to configure the identities in the directory that the policy applies to. On the Include tab, configure the user and groups you want to include. Choose Select Users and Group Options to select our taste group. Select the checkbox in front of Users and Groups. From the list, select User or Group. We will select our Taste User group named Taste Users. Click on Select. Next, select Cloud Apps or Action which is also under Assignments. Let me click on that link. Configure this policy to apply to Cloud Apps. On the Include tab, use available options to identify the apps and services you want to protect with this conditional access policy. We will choose All Cloud Apps. We can see the warning message, don't lock yourself out. Since we are testing this policy only on specific device, that's why we are going with All Cloud Apps. If you choose Select Apps, 
then select the apps and services you want to protect with this policy. Next, configure conditions. Let me click on this link. Select the signals you want to use as conditions for this policy. We are not going to select any conditions for this test policy. From here, you can select filter for devices condition. I'll create a separate video on how to use filter for devices as a condition in conditional access policy. Under access control, select grant. Select the checkbox in front of a required device to be marked as compliant. Again, we can see the message, do not lock yourself out. Make sure that your device is compliant. Click on select. Under enable policy, tap on on. By default, the policy is set to report only. Click on create button to create new conditional access policy in Intune. Wait for the confirmation message. We can see the message, successfully created taste conditional access policy with Intune. Policy will be enabled in a few minutes. We can see a conditional access policy and state is on. So we have successfully created the device based conditional access policy in Indune. Now it's time to test the result. Let's go to a test Windows 10 device. On this device, I have logged in using the credentials of our Azure Active Directory user named test user 2. Let me show you that. Click on start button. We can see the username is test user 2. First, we will perform the manual sync with Indune. Let me click on sync to start the process. Okay, sync was successful. Now, I'm going to restart this Windows 10 device to see the results quickly. Let me restart this Windows 10 device. After restart, again sign in to this Windows 10 device. First of all, I'm going to open Microsoft Edge web browser. Type the URL, https, call in double slash, myaccount.microsoft.com and press enter key. We can see the message, get access to this resource. This device does not meet your organization's compliance requirements Open your organization's device management portal to take action. Since this device does not meet our organization's compliance requirements, we cannot access Azure resources on this device. This Windows 10 device is not compliant and according to our conditional access policy, it will only grant access to resources if the device is compliant. So that's why we are not able to access any Azure resources on this Windows 10 device. Once the Windows 10 device is compliant, then users can access Azure resources on this device without any issue. This means the device based conditional access policy is working perfectly fine in our test environment. That's all for this video on how to create a device based conditional access policy with Intune using Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.